Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here with another video and something that all creators and small business owners, I reckon, uh, have in common is that they are strapped for time. And anything that you can do to free up your time is a big win for you personally and in your business. One of the best ways for you to free up your time is by creating a series of snippets or shortcuts so that you have to spend less time typing and less time looking for information. And that's what today's video is all about. It is brought to you by Text Expander. They are a longtime sponsor of my podcast, How I Built It. And I want to show you my three favorite uses for text expander so uh this is a a paid promotion it comes with their podcast sponsorship but i have been using text expander for years so when they signed on as a sponsor for my show i thought this is perfect i use text expander every day in fact text expander saves me uh, according to their monthly reports several hours a month and that's just typing so it's, i guess it's like based on uh your typical or, or average uh type speed typing speed but the real power i think is that they save me time because i don't have to look stuff up i don't have to uh, remember links or date formats or remember what date it is. And so those are the things I'm going to talk about today with my top three favorite uses for text expander. But before we get into that, I do need to ask you to subscribe to this channel. I'm back doing regular videos on this channel. And so subscribe to see when the latest one comes out. I talk about uh, things to help creators and small business owners leverage tech to create consistently, make money, run their business better. I love talking about automation, and I think Text Expander is one of the uh, best forms of automation for a beginner because it's easy to understand. I type one thing and then more things happen, but it's also super powerful. So I'm not going to say the simplest form of automation. I'm going to say a easy thing to understand. If you really like what I'm doing or you want to get access to my uh, text expander snippets and my automations library, you can become a member of the creator crew at joincreatorcrew.com. It's 50 bucks a year. It starts at 50 bucks a year. If you want courses and things like that, you can you can get the, the higher tier. But for 50 bucks a year, you get ad free extended episodes of my podcast. You get the live stream archive. I live stream on this channel every so often. And you'll get my automations library, which includes my favorite productivity text expander snippets. So do that over at joincreatorcrew.com. It is 50 bucks a year. That's less than five bucks a month. And I just recently paid seven bucks for a coffee. So, you know, five bucks a month, seven bucks for a single coffee that I didn't even finish. You do the math. I think you'll get a lot more value out of the, the membership. Okay, so what are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about my top three text expander uses, which I have over here on my handy dandy iPad, which is now out of frame. And now I my face is too far away. This is technology at its best, but I have it here. Uh, my top three uses are links. These are affiliate links. Uh, common blog posts that I generally send to people, you know, like the what's on my desk or pen recommendations, uh, as well as calendar links. I send a bunch of different calendar links or messaging links like zip message. I don't have to remember any of them with text expander. Number two, coded text. And and I'll show you exactly what I mean here. I'll show you all of these snippets and you'll you'll have a look at my own text expander. Uh, assuming that there's no personally identifiable information in there for me or anybody else, which there shouldn't be. Um, but uh, coded text, I basically mean different date formats, uh, colors I commonly use. If you've watched videos before on this channel, you might have noticed I'll type like a, a pound sign and then a color name. And then that gets replaced with a, a actual hexadecimal color code. That is text expander. Uh, text emoji, I'll show you what I mean by that. 
uh, HTML snippets and the occasional license key, but I don't recommend that. Um, I haven't looked into text expanders encryption, but they recommend you don't store passwords. One password is the thing that you should use for that. Uh, and license keys should be the same. Um, so, you know, I, I think I have it for a couple of tools, but I don't really use that feature much anymore feature. I don't use those snippets anymore. Again, that's something that text expander doesn't necessarily recommend you do. And then emails. Uh, I use it maybe most commonly for emails. And this is email addresses that I can't remember or my own email addresses. Like I've got a bunch and so I'll just expand them. My VA's email address, which I always typo and, and now I don't have to. Uh, and then a bunch of email text. And so this is going to be common emails I send out to people as text expander snippets. So uh, let's jump into it. If there's time at the end here, I will also show you some of the scripts and promotional stuff that I use text expander for, but let's get to the screen, bring myself back in here since, uh, you don't really need to see everything, but here are the top three uses. If you're wondering how I have this all configured, I am using craft on the left text expanders here on the right. So number one is links. So you could see over here, I have a text expander group, right? A text expander snippet group uh, with a bunch of links. And most of them are going to start with AFF. So for example, uh, F, uh, SD for Stream Deck. And that's just going to expand to an Amazon link, right? Or um, F, uh, let's see, F. Uh, WPH for WordPress hosting. Uh, that's going to expand to um, uh, my Nexus affiliate link. Okay, so uh, those are, are uh, some of the easy snippets. Uh, I also have an affiliate disclosure, right? You should always disclose um, disclosure. That's like, that's the problem with, uh, oh, it's because it's disclose. Um, so you should always disclose if you're using affiliate links. Um, and so that's something I always write. The interesting one here, and I'll show this one, is make Amazon affiliate link, right? And so what this does, this is an Apple script. I think I got this from Dr. Drang or maybe Max Sparky. Uh, but what it'll do, uh, um, uh, I'll, I'll zoom in here. Um so what this will do is set my tag, copy the URL from the clipboard, and then uh, remove all of the extra junk that Amazon adds and uh, replace it with my tag. So, so if we go to Chrome and I go to Amazon, uh, I'll just pick a random book I recently read, uh, Artemis. Did I spell that wrong? Artemis. It, I did. Artemis. All right. So I, I grabbed this. I'm not logged in here, right? Because there is a bar that usually shows up uh, where you can easily copy a link. But this is easier. So I'll just copy this. And then I'll go back to craft. Back to my configuration. And then I'll type percent A A F F. And you can see here the link is just the product with my tag. Again, if we go back to Chrome, there's like a whole bunch of other nonsense here. But uh, this script removes that. So it this makes uh, just copying and pasting Amazon affiliate, uh, affiliate links a lot faster. So if I'm using a link that I don't have here, uh, that's what that's mostly for. Uh, the other thing I have is is a bunch of different links for for Calendly, uh, WP Review Show Notes, right? So it's not just straight up links; it's it's text with links. Uh, my sponsor deck, which I'm usually sending around, Zip Message, uh, and a few other uh, interesting links. I also just have the WP Admin Slug, uh, though I do have Keyboard Maestro shortcuts for my common. Um, my common WP admin sites. If you want to see keyboard maestro, leave a comment below. Let me know. 
So that is uh, links. And then I also have blog posts here. Again, this is just common blog posts that I tend to send around to people. Um, I have like pages, better pages dedicated for this now. So I don't use this that often, but it's really helpful, especially if people want to know, you know, for example, how to improve their recording or what mic they should buy. I can just drop uh, this text expander snippet in there. So that's links. Now let's talk about coded text. What do I mean by coded text? Well, the first, the first one uh, I mentioned, right, is date formats, right? So I have a bunch of different date formats. Text Expander makes this really easy. They have uh, a, a calendar icon here, and then you can choose the date format. So you can build the dates you like. Usually I'm using D-Date, uh, but sometimes I'll want the, the year-month-date, so I can write D-Y-M-D in all caps, and it'll do that. Uh, date slashes. So, right, that's the date with slashes or a timestamp, right? So I can grab the timestamp. So, uh, there's a lot of things you can do here, right? If you want like the Unix, um, I haven't tried to build this yet, but I'm sure you can probably get like the Unix APOC somehow, or, or somebody has figured that out, right? If you're a programmer, but I like this because it's really easy for me to just type, uh, this instead of the date, um, it makes sure I don't, I, it makes sure I don't get the date wrong, right? I could mess up my dates. So that's a really common use for me. Uh, next is colors, right? So if I go to colors here, I have a bunch of different colors. These all start with a hash or pound sign and then the color, well, this, this shouldn't be in here. This should be somewhere else. Um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, so these are just common hex codes I use, so I don't have to memorize them because there's a lot. So if I just type hash purple, it replaces it. Uh, the, the text gets replaced with a six digit hexadecimal number. Text emoji are fun, right? So, um, you know, I think if you write slash shrug in Slack, it'll do this, but I could just write shrug and it'll replace it with the shrug emoji. The same thing with, I use the Caruso one a lot. That's like the emoji guy putting on sunglasses. So usually when I'm throwing a pun out there, I'll use uh, the Caruso emoji. But there's also like table flip and a bunch. It's just, I used to have these in a text file that I would copy and paste. But now Text Expander makes it easier. So that's text emojis. Um, HTML snippets, this is probably going to be under code. Um, so I have, uh, just common code things I write. So this is like the referral section for, um, for convert kit and spark loop, uh, plugin definition, HTML boilerplate, um, common HTML I am writing. So like this was for my course, um, sponsors that I usually have, right? This is so I can easily insert it, um, into, you know, HTML fields, but these are, uh, common HTML things I do. Also, this is a, a way in um, in terminal to grab your current IP address. So I, I can just do uh, the greater than IP. Oh, <laughs> I need to, this is a new computer. So I need to set some things up. But <clears throat> this was working and I won't troubleshoot it here on this video. But <clears throat> the other thing I'll do is, is flush the DNS, right? So if I if the DNS is cached and I need to check if a URL is working, I'll do that here too. So that's code, that's code stuff. And then the license keys I mentioned, I don't use that too much anymore. Um, I guess paths can also fall into coded text, but I'm not doing too many of those. Uh, and then finally email. And I, I don't, I don't really need to show you what I mean by this. Well, not the email addresses at least, but uh, you can see a bunch of email addresses, right? So like HubSpot, Feedbin, uh, things. I don't use things anymore. So I should replace this with Todoist, but like Kindle and then a bunch of other stuff. Um, but then email text, right? So, uh, here's, here's a good one, right? Most of these are going to start with the at symbol, right? For email. Uh, so at no meet, if I write that, um, I can grab the name here. So I can say like Bob, uh, thanks for reaching out. You know, we just welcomed our third child into the world. I don't really meet anymore. Let's do it asynchronously, etc. cetera. Um, what you'll find with each of these is that I'm actually using 
a another snippet here and you can find that under dynamics i i want to do more of this soon um but so this will this will create this will pull in a snippet so if i ever want to change this i can when i was using apple mail the dollar sign mfn was an apple script to actually grab the person's first name and automatically insert it. I've since moved, I've since moved to Spark. They allow templates. So I'm going to try to experiment with using their smart tags to see if I can kind of like hijack that syntax, but I haven't done that yet, but that's what I mean by dynamics. I plan to do a lot more of this too. Um, where, you know, in, in some of this text, uh, I can insert other snippets that I can then change on the fly. But those are my top three uses for uh, for a text expander. Um, with a little bit of time at the end here, you know, I, I also uh, I also have common things I use for scripts. So I will write. Uh, I mean, I need to update these, I guess. Um, but I'll write a lot of scripts uh, for videos. Uh, I have lorem ipsum which I'm generally throwing in to test something. Um, and then I have uh, just a bunch of stuff I use for writing. So I absolutely love text expander. I use it for everything. Um, I, I put as much as I possibly can in there. I'm a big fan of it. Uh, you can, uh, if you want to try out text expander, there will be their podcast sponsorship link will be in the description below. Um, or you can go to textexpander.com slash podcast and let them know I sent you. But uh, that's it for this video. If you want to see me try to do something in text expander or some other automation, let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking for good video ideas for that. Uh, and again, subscribe to this channel. Uh, I do live streams regularly. I've been doing more automations on the live streams. And I've, I'm publishing videos more regularly again. If you really like what I'm doing or you want to get access to that automations library, if you want to see me build automations in real time uh, where I'm trying to figure things out and, and kind of see my process for that, head on over to joincreatorcrew.com for just 50 bucks a year. That's less than five bucks a month. You can get access to all of that as well as ad-free extended episodes of my podcast, How I Built It. But that's it for this video. Thanks so much to Text Expander for their support of this video and for my podcast for a very long time. I'm a huge, huge fan of Text Expander, and I, I am so excited to have them on board. I hope you check them out because, again, it's a really great way to dip your toe in the water of automation. And like I said, it saves me hours per month. Who can't, who doesn't want to save hours per month? So check out Text Expander, textexpander.com slash podcast. Let them know I sent you. Thanks so much for watching. And until next time, get out there and build something.